the, the entrepreneurs. Yesterday, for example, we had two yeah, young I, I, I listen. We had two young guys yes. who were who were bankers but have now resigned and have gone into poultry farming and they're having competition out there. And yesterday I raised it. So if we say we want young people to be entrepreneurs and they've gone into poultry business and yet we are importing uh, frozen chicken. Exactly. Or we say somebody should go into the the manufacturing, exactly. the manufacturing of let's say fruit juice, a confit fruit, fruit, fruit exactly. juice. Exactly. And then during events, be it state events or whatever events, yeah. we are importing stuff from other countries like yeah. South Africa and all that. Yeah. It's problematic, and that's yeah. why I'm saying that. <laughs> what should the way forward be? So I'm thinking that maybe you you'd give suggestions and say, listen, it's about time we do away with some of these importations, concentrate on what we are producing, encourage them to do more stuff like that. Because listen, we have talked about this several times. We haven't take, been able to take the bold step. This structural adjustment project you know, I was talking about in the 80s was a beautiful idea. Establishing governments, change of governments and all that has affected us. But we, have, we need to come to a realization that, listen, we need to fix this once and for all. And that's what I'm asking. For those who have even begun, what do you think it will take for them to sustain their businesses out there right now? Is, is this difficult. poultry farmer? I heard this the poultry farmer even talking about yes. maize. Yes. So, and so, his availability. So, so, so again, I'm, I'm saying that we have come to the realization that this is what we need to you, do. You, you can't do may, uh, poultry farming or pig, pig green and not have the good source of maize and soybeans and so on. Yeah. And, and these things must are all interrelated. What is happening here, and what we, are, what are, how are we focusing on this? I think that the, it all boils down to the system of governance which we are practicing. The, the two main political parties who, which, which are held, uh, what leadership position in our country, are too much focused on the competition between them, instead of really the, 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 the way forward for our country. The adversarial politics and me and the MDC for a year, which and we win to see me, me, which are winning at their day. And they know that we, we don't seem to have any options but to just vote for these two let's, parties. Let's, let's that's that's my problem. I mean, as, as, as a listener yourself, join us now. As, as, as a people, especially the youth, how entrepreneurial minded are we? Are we, are we you know, entrepreneurially minded well enough? Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six. This call from the vice president that, listen, the way to go is for our young ones to be their own bosses. What would it take for you to survive? Join us on 03220-83596 and let's hear from you. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, David. Yes, Chris, right, Chris, I'm well. Chris, I'm well. Have you ever started your own no, business before? Yes, like, mm -hmm. I do my own business. But David, it is a difficult thing. We are not trying to scare anybody. If you want to do your own business and you are not mentally tough, then even the venue for the business Okay, even the people around those who stay around, those who work there, and business and jealousy, even the rent, how to pay the rent for, 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 the, for the place where the business is run. This, if you are not taught, if you don't have other means to try to get money, if you are not able to, you know, do more other in other forms. Your business to attract attention. This. So, so the question is, what should we do in our quest to ensure that the youth become more entrepreneurial? What should we be doing? I think there should be a holistic training, David, for entrepreneurs, for people who are already in this business, coming out to help people, giving them pep talk, advice, and how to go about it. David, yesterday when you asked one of the guys, that, have you regretted re re resigning from the bank? He said that he wasn't able to answer that question. God said, Because it's really tough. And I believe that the bank, who are saying that when they give loans to people, they are not able to use their loan well. Look, I want to tell them that your, your core mandate is not only to give them loans. You are to check on them, give them advice, show up on them, and help them for them to grow their business. I hear you, Chris. Thank you very much, Chris, for joining us. 03220-83596. Ajekum, good morning. Good morning, Ajekum Adams, United States of Kropo. Dave. Yes, sir. For consistency sake, although NPP is having its ups and downs, I advocate that NPP should rule this nation for the next 20 years. This will ensure this industrialization and technology that you are talking of. Okay. Change of government has not been helping us. It must be factual. The way we change our government, the way we change the system is not good. 
if you ensure consistency, bye-bye. I hear you. But the point is this. It's not about one particular party staying on for that long. If we would go by what the Constitution says, mm. the direct principles of state mm. policy, mm. and every mm. government will stick to it, mm. we'll be making the headway. But who will make sure that the go government sticks to it? Fra Francis, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Dave. And welcome, Francis. Yeah, Dave, this uh, industrialization thing is not an easy thing. Because we, the youth, we don't that we don't have the energy or we don't have the mindset to go to it. But it's pretty difficult. I started my own. I I am a civil engineer by profession. Okay. But I like agriculture. So I went and acquired the land. Acquiring the land wasn't a much problem. But after I had the land, the tailing became a, 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 a difficult for me than I thought of. Because after I had the land, to get the machines to even do what I want to do was a problem. The car that can easily just rent. I went to a close by district assembly. They have a machine. I went and pay money to them to help me prepare the land. David, my money is locked there as of now. They send the machine somewhere to do their own private job. They never brought it to the district assembly. And my money is locked with them. They should give me my money back to get another machine to go into this way. Dave, it became a problem. A struggler and how to have my own money somewhere to have another money to prepare the land. So, 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 Francis, before I move on to my next caller, Francis. Hello, Francis. I needed the money to even have it. The assembly to give me back my money. They feel. Who is the assembly? It's the government. So, if the government is the only one to help the young people to go into entrepreneurship, that is the whole system. They're not doing anything to help the somebody to do the entrepreneurship. I hear They're you, Francis. Anything. Francis is very passionate on this issue, isn't he? Well, uh, 0322083596. Kwame is also on the line. Good morning, sir. Good morning, David. And how are you? I'm doing well, and you? I'm well. So good to have you. Let's hear you, Kwame. Yes, David, you see, uh, uh, the problems of this country are, are, are many. And there's no way we can solve all in a very short time. You see, this is the reason why some of us have been calling on Mencia to also show some concern when it comes to uh, the politics of this region. Imagine Mencia had a, a development plan. Yes, this is the direction we want the region to go the next 10 years. I believe Mencia is very much resourced to somehow compel the politicians to buy into this plan. So I believe it is time for, 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 for Mencia to, to also uh, sit up and get involved in the politics of the region. Mm. 03220 Thanks, Kwame, for joining us. We're having a conversation about some comments made by the finance minister that says that the public or the government payroll is full and therefore, you know, young graduates from the various universities should concentrate on being entrepreneurs, being their own bosses. What will it take for this to really uh, 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 succeed? Josh, good morning. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I am well, George. Dave, for once, a, a politician have come up with the truth because they are just fooling us that they are, they are creating so many jobs and these uh, graduates from the university are looking for their jobs. So I don't do politics, but this is once the reality on the ground. But what have they done for it to be easy for these uh, young I mean, graduates to establish their own business? We live in a country where uh, party cards have become the passport of everything. And if, if your business is going on and they find out that you, are, you, you, that you belong to the political party and you are sponsoring that party, the other party will come and try to kill your business. Mm. 